It's the end of an era, and ABC Action News has granted the first one-on-one -on -one interview with Chief Jane Castor of the Tampa Police Department as she gets ready to step down this week. Good evening. I'm Brenda McLaughlin. And I'm Linda Rotato. ABC Action News anchor Serena Fazan was there the very first day she took the top job six years ago. And Serena Fazan joins us now with a candid conversation with the chief at a time when police departments everywhere are under particular scrutiny. Serena? That's right, Brendan, and that's why even though Jane Castor is stepping down, she says she will be on speed dial to assist the new chief and his team if they need it. Castor tells me today there's not one day that she regrets, but also shares her darkest time, the mistake she's admitting, and her proudest moments. I would say every day. Is the best day on the job. There, there is not one day in her 31 year career Jane Castor has not wanted to come to work. From her proudest moments, stemming from a plan she put in place on her first day as chief in 2009. And we want to get everybody involved. Connecting with the community face to face and instilling that in her 1,000 member force. We're just trying to stop the violence out here. Her focus leading to her legacy, a safer Tampa. A uh, police force that understands the community that they serve and has a partnership with the citizens of Tampa in keeping this city as safe as it is. During her six-year tenure, crime dropped. Her force also set a nationwide example from a nearly flawless RNC to the unprecedented arrest-free Bollywood. But that doesn't mean there weren't dark days, the worst being when she lost two officers, David Curtis and Jeffrey Kocab. There's nothing that can prepare you for that, and uh, you wouldn't wish that on your worst enemy. The extensive manhunt for their killer was also one of the most grueling times in police history. That was a, a couple of weeks worth of stress that probably equal a lifetime in normal people. She also sees the staggering betrayal of one of her own as her biggest mistake. Ray Fernandez with the DUI issue. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ray Fernandez fired, accused of lying and destroying evidence after arresting attorney Phil Campbell in the high profile trial of two Tampa radio personalities. We had a face to face conversation and I took him at his word. I believed what he said and I believed it for for too long. Just weeks before her retirement, Castor is dealing with another controversy facing her agency. The department accused of stopping a disproportionate number of black people on bicycles. I'm not looking at that end result. I came in every day working hard to make a difference in my community. And as long as I know that that's what I did, then I'm fine with that. And she's ready to pass the baton to the new team led by Chief Eric Ward. And I've been working with them for well over a year now preparing them for this this next phase and now her focus turns to her new foundation tamparise.org the money going to help police balance steep budget cuts because her bottom line keeping everyone safe i love this city now the chief won't have any downtime she's already taking consulting jobs including assisting troubled police departments around the country and of course guys i asked is she headed up to baltimore and she said no but she's already talked to that chief and feels that he has a good handle on the situation but she is going to cuba on tuesday with the chamber of commerce she probably do a lot of traveling but you know she really uh, got national credit mm -hmm. for the rnc in tampa in 2012 i would imagine cleveland is going to want to talk to her about their convention coming up in 2016. brendan they've already called her to set up really? a meeting yes amazing she's and you know for 31 years she's been with the tampa police department right that she she didn't have any other job other than that despite you were telling me she wanted to be an fbi agent right she wanted to be an fbi agent and she's turned down a lot of police jobs even in larger markets than ours she's a very likable person mm -hmm. All right. for sure. Page sure very interesting thanks serena yeah.